in the name of the law. We bring you another of the thrilling stories in this exciting series, taken from actual police case files. Our story begins in a little farmhouse in Hudson Town. Hello? Yep, this is John. Yep. No, he ain't here. I don't know, went to town, I guess. Yep. I'm here alone. Yep, sorry. Sure, I'll tell him. Not at all. Goodbye. All right. Hello, Hello, Hello. 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 What is this? You know what this is. We come for your dough, brother. We want your money in your barn. Yeah, and we're in a hurry, too. Money? I haven't got Don't any money. Don't try to fool us, mister. It ain't help. But I tell you, I haven't got any. Now, shut oh. up. Give us those bonds. Oh. Fire. We oh. ain't fooling. We ain't fooling right. Do these look like toys or something? Uh. I'll give you all the money I have, but I... No fuss, brother. We want everything you got. See? Cash, bonds, and everything. Now, get them up or I'll give you another taste of this gun. No, no, please, no. Stop no. Wilpin and give us your money. Here. Here, all I've got. Every cent. Take it, but please don't hurt me, please. Eighteen bucks. Hey, what do you take us for, chump? We know you got lots of bonds, see? Now, come across or we'll kill you. Bonds? Me? I have bonds? You or your brother has them. But I ain't got no brother. Uh, so you're going to try that on us, are you? Honest, you're making a mistake. Uh, you must mean the Riders. Hey, ain't your name Ryder? No, no. They own the next farm. Uh, two brothers. That's the ones we want, all right. You know them, don't you? Sure. They're old men, both of them. And you're going to help us. Come on. I'm going to help yeah, you. Yeah, you heard what he said. Come on and listen to this. You're going to knock on the door and get us in, see? But if you double cross us, well, you see this? It's loaded and it's dying to go off, understand? Yes, I... I understand. Come on, let's beat it. All right, Okay, let's go. Mr. Yes? Okay, now listen. Knock on the door, and when they open it, ask them something, anything. And we'll do the rest. Please. Don't make me do such a thing. They're old men and they're my friends. Please. Now, oh, ain't that just too bad? Look at this. Now, do you do as we say, or would you like to get a face full of lead first? Put that gun away, please. I'll do it. Oh, Father, please forgive me for what I'm <laughs> This little 32 is better than all your prayers, you chump. Come on, get going. It's you, John. Who is it, Otto? What brings you here? It's John Shriner, August. Uh, come in. Uh, what's the matter? Are you sick? Yeah. Oh, hello, John. Come in, come in. We're glad to see you. Yeah, we're glad to see you, too. Come on, get her up. What is this, a hold-up? John, you, you trying to rob us? Oh, Otto, please believe me. Get up. Now put up your hands, both of you. And get in there. Come on, move fast. We ain't got all night. Okay, now close the door. I got these guys covered. Where's your money and your bar? Why, we haven't got any. Keep your hands up, you. Don't move them. Now tell us, where do you keep your dough? We haven't got any money, we tell you. You, all. keep your hands up! Oh, 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 oh. Up for the dog! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, that'll keep both of you a lesson. Now tell us, where are those bonds? Why don't you leave them alone? They're old men, they never... Oh. We ain't asking you what to do. Yeah, now you guys listen. We come for your dough. We won't leave either of you alive if we don't get it. You understand? Oh, don't hit my brother, please. I'll give you the money. Only don't. We want the bond, too. I'll give you everything. Everything. Oh, oh. Here. Here in this jar. Everything we own. We worked all our lives, both of us, to save that money. Worked all your lives, eh? Now, ain't that nice? Well, we deserve it, too. We worked one night for it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sure, uh, we worked hard, too. <laughs> come on, give me that jar and come on. Let's feed it. And you. If you call a cop. We're coming back to kill you, see? Come on. Hello. Hello, operator. Hello. 
Give me the sheriff's office. Please, the sheriff's office. Oh, it's important. Very important. Sheriff Welch? Yes. Healing's my name, Kansas State Highway Patrol. This is Officer Stone. Colonel Smith assigned us Yes, to the... I know. I asked Colonel Smith for some help. Glad to know you, Healing. Tell him. Sit down, please. Uh, thank you. I don't know how much you know of this case, men. All but... I know, Sheriff, is that there's been a holdup and a murder. Then the most dastardly crime I've ever worked on was committed in town last night. Three old men, farmers, innocent men, were attacked and robbed. One of them, August Reiter, age 53... Died a little while ago from wounds received last night. Anyone identify the bandits? No, they wore masks. All we know is that there were three of them. Hmm. That means Rogue's gallery photographs won't help us, eh, Sheriff? Exactly. Are uh, the other two victims wounded? They were horribly beaten. Yes, sir. They were beaten with guns, unmercifully, stabbed, kicked. Well, it sounds like the work of fiends. Yes, three feet. Got any ideas where we start? No. Nope. That's what we've got to decide right now. One thing I can tell you, however, and that is that the people of our county are in an ugly mood. They want this case solved right away. Well, so do we, Sheriff. Yes, I know that. Now, I would suggest that... Uh, what was that? Huh. That noise. Hear it? Sounds like a mob to me, Sheriff. Let's go to the window. There they are, Sheriff. Looks like you're right. There are whole towns out there. Yeah, in that ugly mood you were talking about. Better talk to them before they do some damage, Sheriff. Open that window, Keely. Right. <laughs> Quiet! Quiet! Now, gentlemen, the sheriff's office will do everything in its power to see that justice is done. You may rest assured that the brutal murder of August Reiter will be avenged, but that revenge will have to be meted out legally. Quiet! Please! Quiet! We do not know who committed this dastardly crime, gentlemen, but you have my word as sheriff and the word of officers Keeling and Stone here that this case will be solved. Just give us a chance to go to your home, all of you. We shall need your help, and we know that you want to help us. So please go where we can find you. Go to your home. That uh, looks ready for anything. And heaven help anyone they catch. We'll have to work fast for that very reason. Now, here are your orders. Yes, sir. We've got to go over this entire country with a fine-tooth comb. Yes, sir. Every car must be examined. Every inch of ground must be looked over. We must cover every fence for the smallest fragment of cloth. Even school children must be asked to look for clues. For a discarded jar, perhaps. Jar? Yes, uh, the writers kept their money in a jar. Sure, if you can't expect two men to handle all that. I'll call the governor and ask him to assign as many troopers as we need. Operator, get me the state capital. I want to talk to Governor Landon. Yes. I'd like to speak to Governor Lyman. Search my car. Now, what in blazes do you want? Sorry, sir, but orders are orders. Where are you heading? I'm on my way to Hutchinson. I live there. Anything else you want to know? No, I, everything looks all right. Sorry. Any cars stopped here for gas the night of the 23rd? Yes, sir. Plenty of them buy my gas. Uh, recall seeing any strangers? Mm, well, think I do. Some fellas in a new sedan seem to be in an awful hurry. Ran off without taking change. Yeah? What kind of car was it? Uh, can't help you on that, but, uh, think it had Oklahoma plates. Believe it had Oklahoma plates. Okay. Yes? How do, ma'am? I'm Sheriff Welsh. Well? Did you see any strangers the night before last? Anyone who aroused your suspicion? No, I didn't. What's more, I'm tired of answering that question. You're the fourth person who asked me that same I'm thing. I'm sorry, and... ma'am, but we're trying to solve a murder case, and we must insist that you cooperate with us. Well, I didn't see anyone. I'm sorry. But I did 
didn't do anything, officer. Yes, ma'am, I know. I just want to ask you a few questions about your car. For land's sake, you troopers are more bothered than you were. Why don't you catch criminals instead of annoying innocent motorists? Sorry, ma'am. Mind opening that trunk? What? I should say I do mind. Now, listen to me, young man. You've no right to find it. Now, remember, children, on your way home from school today, we're all going to play a game. We want you to look very carefully behind bushes and trees. Every place for a jar, the kind your mothers keep reserves in. And if any of you see one, don't touch it. Just tell me about it, and I'll tell Sheriff Welch immediately. Now, don't forget, keep your eyes open wide this afternoon and see if one of us can't help the police. Ma'am, that's right. We want to know about all out-of-town telephone calls, incoming or outgoing from Hudson. I can't give you that information now. We'll have to speak to the night yes, operator. Yes, I know. But let us know what you find as soon as you can, will you? Thanks. Be glad to help, sir. Well, what we want is a report on every telegram received or transmitted from this office. Yes, sir. Every telegram. And send that report to my office this afternoon. Is that clear? Right. Name's Wells. Yes. Sheriff Wells. Is your mother or father home, Sonny? Just a minute, sir. Daddy? Daddy, a policeman's here. Oh. Yes, sir. You want me? We're looking for information on the Shriner Ryder case. A terrible thing, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I wonder, Mr. Cunningham, did you see any strange faces around town during the last few days? The only strange faces I've seen have been on troopers. Must have been a hundred of them. Yes, I, I know, I know. Any others? Mm, no, don't recall any. That murder happened on the 23rd, didn't it? That's right. I'm afraid I can't help you. I was out of town that day. I see. On business? Yes, I had to run down to Dodge City. Well, if you do recall seeing anything that might interest us, uh, communicate with the sheriff's office, will you? I certainly will. Uh, Fellows who committed that crime ought to be strung up. It looks like the whole town agrees with you there, Mr. Cunningham. Well, good day. of this case than we were yesterday. We're not, we're not through checking yet, Sheriff. Yes, I know. I've called you two here to act as a sort of clearinghouse with me for all these tips and reports and whatnot. I should say that we have at least 200 memorandums here, and all of them must be gone over. That's okay with me, Sheriff. And with me. Good. Now, let's see. Here's a report from the telephone company on all out-of-town calls. Suppose we hold on to this and check them later. That's a good idea. Now, here. Let's see. Hmm. Tony Willinger saw a new sedan with Oklahoma plates on the 23rd. Doesn't say who was in the car. Here, Stone, you brought this in yourself. Get some more dope, will you? All right. Later, of course. Yes, sir. And uh, here, uh, Miss Higgins's class hasn't found any jar yet, she reports. This? Oh, I remember this. Here's a man who telephoned late last night and said he saw a car with four suspicious-looking men about 10 p.m. Looked like criminals, he said. On the night of the 23rd? Yeah. Here, Keeling, you look him up and get his complete story. All right. I'm afraid getting clues in this case isn't going to be so easy, Sheriff. Oh, by the way, uh, is there any change in the condition of Shriner and Ryder? No, the doctors still have them on the critical list. I certainly wish I could question them again. They may be able to give us some more information. Mm, too bad. Well, let's go on. Here's a report from the telegraph company. Forty-two wires received and transmitted on the 23rd and, see, um, 56 on the 24th. All over the state, most of them. Elmville, Emporia, Hutchinson. And here's three to Lawrence. One from Dodge City and one to... Where's the one to Dodge City, Sheriff? Uh, got turkey for dinner and all the trimming. Come on down. <laughs> Not much help in that one, is there? Who sent it? It's signed to Harry Pyle. Sent to, uh, to Lacey Cunningham. What? I said it was sent I heard to... that, Sheriff. When did you say it was sent? On the 24th. Why, what's it all about, Keeling? Well, I don't know what it's all about, but this may be very interesting. I saw Cunningham a little while ago and questioned him about where he was and all that on the 23rd. And, and, uh, and he said he was out of town then that day, in Dodge City. Well, no, no, what of it? Well, if he was in Dodge City on the 23rd, why should he receive a wire on the 24th and not inviting him to dinner? Seems to me he would have got that invitation in person. Well, I don't know, no, Keeling. Maybe there's something in what you say, but... Say, look, look at this, this, this. Here's another wire to Cunningham, and this one's from Dodge City, too. And listen to this. I hope you are feeling better and are all right. Signed, Alan Pyle. Those telegrams don't sound right to me, Sheriff. Me, me either. Keeling, I think you've got something. Get, get Cunningham down here right away. I want to speak to him. Yes, sir. And you, Stone. Yes, sir. 
Be for Dodge City immediately and get a line on Harry and Alan Pyle. If they look uh, interesting, arrest them if necessary and bring them in. Hurry. Right. Thanks. Here's Mr. Cunningham, Sheriff. What's this all about, Sheriff? Not so loud, look, Mr. Cunningham. Just sit that down on there. I want to talk to you. Now, what about? Say, L- listen, what No, is... don't, don't excite yourself. Just answer our questions. What's your business, Mr. Cunningham? Real estate. Uh, does your business keep you in town or out of town? In town and out of it. Why? Please, I'm asking the questions now. Uh, you travel, you say? Some. Where to? Where, where to? I couldn't even possibly remember every place I've been in. Oh, what city were you in last? Well, let's see now. Dodge City, I think. Yeah, yes, that's right. Dodge, Dodge City. And when were you there? The day before yesterday. On um, business? Yes. So who did you see in Dodge City? A man, a man named Coulter wanted to buy a house. Do you know a man in Dodge City named Pyle? Pyle? Yes. Why? Right. Yes, of course. Why? Uh, when, when's the last time you heard from him? The last time? Yesterday, I think. Yes, yesterday. He sent me a telegram that invited me to his home for dinner. I'm not going, though. I'm too, too busy. Too busy, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not sick by any chance, are you? Sick? No, 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 no. Not at all. Oh, why? What makes you ask? Oh, no reason. Oh, yeah, I understand the Pyle family was a little concerned about your health. You, you received a telegram from Alan Pyle, didn't, didn't you? Said something about ho- hoping you felt better or something like that. Oh, that, oh, that was nothing. It was just a little, little joke. Uh, here comes Stone with two men, Sheriff. It looks like Harry and Alan Pyle to me. Because they're coming here? Sure. Why? Don't you want to meet them? Well, of course. I, I don't mind. Not at all. Oh, why are you shaking that way, Cunningham? I, 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 I'm not shaking. I, I'm all right. Cunningham, what do you know about the murder of August Reichert? I don't know anything about it. Honest, Sheriff, I don't know. I Cunningham, don't... you know who murdered August Reichert? I didn't do it, Sheriff. Then who did? Ask Bay Pyle. He knows who killed Reiter. But I, I didn't have anything to do with it. Sure we'll ask Babe Pyle. Sure, uh, sure but, but I don't, don't want to be here when you talk to him. Please, please let me wait in the other room. Don't be afraid, Cunningham. We'll hide you when Pyle gets here. When Pyle gets here? You said he was coming. Oh, you mustn't believe everything we say, Cunningham. I said Pyle was outside because I figured that would make you talk. Is that so? You figured it would make me talk, eh? Well, I'm going to stop you from talking so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That won't do you any good, Cunningham. You know that, don't you? Not so sure about that, Sheriff. That crack on the head you gave him might have knocked a little sense into him. Take him out, Keeling, and lock him up. All right. We'll talk to him later. Men, I have bad news for you. Otto Reiter died this morning. He's too mm-hmm. dead. Yeah. And all we can show for it so far is one possible suspect. Shriner stated definitely that Cunningham was not one of the men who held him up. But we did, did get Cunningham to admit that he was going to buy the bonds from Pyle. Harry Pyle has a perfect alibi. He was not in Hudson all, all that day. What about the other one? Mm, Alan Pyle? Mm-hmm. He's Harry's son. We call him Bay. We're not so sure about him. Even Shriner could identify him positively. Said he wasn't sure on account of the mask. That's a big help. Yeah. Excuse me. Sheriff Wells talking. Yeah. Anybody killed? Killed? Huh. That's good. Yeah? Wait, wait till I get it down. Five passengers to the sedan. Black. Oklahoma plate. Highway 23. M- m- model? I say, that's this year's model, isn't it? I thought so. Okay, thanks. I'll be right, right over. No, no, jump. no, fire. Car burned to the ground. <laughs> new one, too. Did I hear you say it was, it was a new car and had Oklahoma plates? Yeah, why? Remember Tony Willinger said he saw a new sedan with Oklahoma plates about an hour before the... By Jiminy, I'll say I remember it. Get over there right away and find out who owned that car. It's on Highway 23. You can't miss it. Well, he, he's checking that wheel talk to Bay Pyle again. Maybe he's changed his mind a bit. Hello? Miss? Bring Alan Pyle here right away. Yeah, thanks. Hey, where's Cunningham? Out on bail. Shriner couldn't identify him. We had to let him go. Swore he never saw any of the bonds Pyle spoke to him about. Here's Pyle, Sheriff. Okay. Sit down there. Do you like like talking now, Pyle? No, I ain't got nothing to say. We're holding you for murder. You know that? Can't prove it. Who are the other two men with you? I ain't got nothing to say. What's you doing with those bonds? I ain't got nothing to say. Pyle, what did you do with the cash? What cash? Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Oh, wise guys, ain't you? 
Well, I don't fall so easy, see? $15,000 of the bonds and $400 in cash were stolen. You know that. Yeah? That's the truth, Pyle. Well, I didn't know there was any cash, see? Oh, you were double-crossed. Is that it? Maybe. Who did it? I don't need no help. I'll take care of them. You'll never get out of here long enough to take care of anything, Pyle. Now, who helped you? I I ain't got nothing to say. Hello? Yes? Oh, Keeley. What's the dope? Who? Wait a minute. Let me get that that down. Okay. Go on. Hmm. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. I got it. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks. You want to know who double-crossed you, Pyle? I'll tell you. Wilbur Stover. He cheated you out of your share of the cash. How do you know? No. Don't forget. I'm sheriff of this county. But where is Stover? Well, I'll tell you where you can get him. What do I care? The no good double crossing punk. If I take the rap for this, he does too. You want him, huh? Now listen to this. Maybe you won't believe me, but I'll tell you where you can get him. You'll find Stover. And the score is tied six to six. Kansas has the ball and third to down and seven to go. Looks like they may kick now. Solomon is dropping back. No, no. That's just in the double wing back formation. There goes the ball. Solomon gets it. Oh, look at him go. He stopped. He stopped. He's trying to win reverse, but, but, oh, and Central Speedy right in. Smothered him. Boy, what a tackle that was. Something went wrong with that play. Solomon was stopped in his track. Going for a five, ten, twelve yards in the ball. Here it is, last down and 19 to go. Kansas ball, fourth down, 19 to go. Boy, oh boy, what a game. Only a few more minutes to play, folks. Lining up now, and... Yep, lightning is in there, all right. Getting back, looks like he's going to carry the ball, and you all know what he can do. Kansas star back lightning, they call him. Hasn't done so much so far, but it wasn't his fault. They were saving him. As, as he's back now, there goes the ball. Lightning gets it. First down, first down. On the 12 yard line. 12 yards to go for a touchdown. Lining up again. Lightning is back. Yes, looks like they're going to get the ball to the fight again. Oh, something's up. Referee blew his whistle. Looks like a penalty. No, no, no. Something strange is happening, folks. I don't know what it is. Uh oh, some trouble, I guess. Two troopers are walking on the field. There's two more, and believe it or not, folks, there are about 10 troopers all over the field. Walking toward Kansas team. I don't know what's happening, folks. As soon as I find out, I'll let you know. Look at that. Look at that. They're taking lightning off. Troopers are taking lightning silver off the field. Silver silver's being carried out our folks, and I don't know what it's all about. How's the hero? Yeah, making the touchdown today. <laughs> you don't have to worry about no eligibility here. You can play for us for life. Can't say hero. Sure. Only <laughs> oh, you can't run so fast with them chains on your legs, can you? Well, why don't you ask the warden to take them off? He'll do it for you. You're a football hero. How about you, Pyle? Do you like to give you back your 400 bucks? He'd give you life so you'd have time to collect it. <laughs> hey, where's the other old man killer? Oh, there he is. Hi. He's a shame, fellas. Look at him. He's the one who pointed the car so they wouldn't identify yeah. him. Yeah. The regular chain that Dick's made. They found the telegrams and went to Cunningham. They got Pyle through Cunningham. They got Stover, the football hero, through Pyle. And then they got that guy through Stover. It's a regular chain that Dick's made. Yeah, regular chain for the chain gang. Yeah. <laughs> and the four feet of get up for life. Ain't that nice? They're going to be together for life for killing a couple of old men. Yeah. Be with us 
again when truth and justice triumph in the name of the law.